Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to a brand new video here. So today I've got another video on the confirmed transfers that have happened in the last 24 hours. Most of these are actually uh, deadline transfers that have happened today on deadline day, but there's about one or two, I think, about, well, it might even be one actually, that um, was completed yesterday and isn't actually a deadline day transfer. Now the first person, the play, first player in this video, we've got David Luiz from PSG to Chelsea for 30 million. Now this was actually announced, no necessarily by David Luiz but he changed his um, profile picture on Facebook and his cover picture to him in a Chelsea top which you know if you ask me <laughs> that pretty much confirms he wouldn't do that unless the deal was a pretty much done to be honest he wouldn't risk kind of uh, making himself look like an idiot if the deal was not done so I think this is completely confirmed and if apparently it is around the area of 30 million pounds there's quite a few 30 million pound transfers in this video but I'm not going to say anything more about the others because I don't want to ruin it but 30 million pound David Luiz from PSG to Chelsea I haven't given him an upgrade because I don't think he's played like outstanding for PSG this season. He's been decent, but I think an 83 is pretty um, pretty reasonable. I didn't want to really give him much of an upgrade because I haven't really seen him play too much for PSG last season. Now, getting to the next player, we have got Lucas Perez from Deportivo to Arsenal for 17.5 million. Now, this was actually one of the ones that was completed yesterday, I think. It wasn't actually a deadline day transfer. And uh, to be honest, don't know much about this Perez guy uh, until I actually saw that it was uh, linked to Arsenal. I've seen a few little clips of him, to be honest, but you can't really make a, uh, a judgment of a player from just watching a few videos on like YouTube and that, because obviously any player can look good. I mean, I've even, even seen Anderson compilations. The, you know the Arsenal player? I've seen compilations of him that made him look half decent, so I really can't really make a judgment of Perez. He might be he might be decent, he might not, but a few people are, are saying that he is a top striker and could be the solution for Arsenal's striker problems. So um, hopefully, for, hopefully for Arsenal fans, he is, but hopefully it isn't because it's funny just seeing Arsenal be really really um, poor and always, always miss out on um, actually doing good in the league. And again to the next one, it's actually a bit of a confusing one. Now, Musa Soko um, obviously plays in the championship at the moment for um, Newcastle, so if they can get which is um, the fee which is on there, £30 million, if Newcastle can get that for a championship club, is really, really good. And to be honest, they'll do absolutely fantastic to get £30 million for Musa Soko because I really don't see what's so special about him. Last season, he didn't seem to put much effort in for Newcastle, and why that makes any club think that he's worth £30 million, I will never, ever know. And to be honest, all around in the transfer window, Everton have just completely wasted the money. They spent £60 million on Musa Soko and Balassi. I think Balassi's a decent player, don't get me wrong, but £30 million, I think it's £30 million or £25. There's two, but both of them are kind of uh, going around. I'm not sure whether it's 25 or 30, but either way, it's I, I think it's too much for Balassi. And 30 million is way too much for Musa Soko as well. He could prove me wrong and have an absolute storm of the season. He might just not have liked it at Newcastle, but I think 30 million is just way too much. And uh, Everton are definitely wasting a bit of money at this transfer window. Now, getting to the next player, we have got another <laughs> another 30 million transfer. There's a lot of 30 millions. Uh, some of these could be 20, like 29.5 or something. But from what I've seen, all of these ones that I've put 30 mil are actually 30 mil. Um, so, you know, whether that's just a, a trending little transfer fee, I'm not sure. But it is Islam Slomani from Sporting Lisbon to Leicester. Now, personally, I think it's an absolutely fantastic signing for Leicester. Quality striker Slomani. I think he's got like 25 goals last season in the Portuguese league. Don't, be, don't get me wrong, it's not the most fantastic league in the world. But he can definitely bring some of them goals over to the Premier League. I've got no doubt about that whatsoever. And uh, also, as well, I was trying to think um, in my head like where he'd actually fit in because I was thinking Moose as a striker. But Moose is kind of like a winger at times as well. So they could maybe put Moose out on the wing, maybe, and have Slomani and Vardy up front. Or they could maybe switch around and have one striker. I'm not 100% sure. That's been the area's decision. I'm not 100% sure. But you can maybe have Moose on the wing, Slomani up front. I think he's a quality striker. Slomani would definitely bring another level to the Leicester team and definitely a uh, big, big signing for Leicester. Now, getting to the last play in this video, we have got actually a loan player because I couldn't find um, a significant, like, big transfer to put um, in this video. I, there was a few transfers, but I just. I, I didn't think you guys you guys really care about it that much, so I didn't really put it in the video. But it is this one a low move for Jack Wilshire from Arsenal to Bournemouth. And it's a bit of a bizarre one to be honest, because although Wilshire gets injured quite a lot, he's still, in my eyes, a really, really good player. And he did play okay for England in the Euros, wasn't dazzling, wasn't anything special, but he did the job and he did what you wanted him to do. And if Bournemouth can keep Wilshire like fit throughout the season, then he could be an absolutely fantastic player for them. I mean, you, they've already got a decent squad as it is, but if they've got Wilshire keeping possession of the ball, spreading it out wide to like Jordan Ibe and all that, I think that he could be a huge, huge player for Bournemouth this season. And, you know, fair play for actually getting this transfer done because it will definitely be a huge transfer for them this season. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, then be sure to like button down below. It is a bit of a shorter video uh, than normal. I think these transfer videos are normally a bit longer. But I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed this video, though. If you have, then be sure to like button down below, guys. And don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. See you later.